Hi everyone, it's Sherry for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a feature on the blog using some Distress Ink recipes and this is one of my favorite color combinations. It uses Broken China, Rusty Hinge, Peeled Paint, and Walnut Stain. When these colors are combined, they're really nice and warm and absolutely perfect for fall. So I'm going to get started on a stamp here and this is the Leaf Background Stamp from Simon Says Stamp. I'll be inking up just a portion of the stamp and then I'll be stamping onto some Tim Holtz watercolor paper. So I'm using my cubes and I'll start off with the Broken China ink and just kind of tap that or twist it a little bit onto that stamp. And the next is the Rusty Hinge and I'll kind of go in a little zigzag pattern to get started. Next is my peeled paint and then finally I'll add in some walnut stain. Once I have those four colors down, I'll go ahead and repeat the process and start back with Broken China in that same area. Next I'll go for my Rusty Hinge and then I'll finish off with the peeled paint. Once I have the color onto my stamp, I'm going to go ahead and spritz this down with my Mini Mister and I just want this to bubble up a little bit to where you can just start to see the ink become a little bit fluid. So you can see where it's kind of pulled up a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with my finger and kind of blend in those areas that are in between. I grab a paper towel and kind of blot off the color a little bit in between so I don't mix it too much. So I'm just kind of moving the ink around and also that water around just a little bit so that it's more of a solid strip instead of a zigzag pattern. Once I have my color on my stamp and it's mixed in really well, I'm using my Tim Holtz watercolor paper and I'm using the smooth side. So I flip that over and I'm just going to lay this right onto the stamp. I'm not pressing really hard. I'm just rubbing it slightly with my fingers. I want to pick up that color. I also want it to soak into the paper as much as possible. So the longer you leave the paper on the stamp, the more vibrant the color. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and reveal that I have really great color. Another fun thing that you can do with this is I can go ahead and spritz this again and then get a second generation where it'll be a lot lighter or a little more faded but still really beautiful. So I've put down another sheet of paper and I'm doing the same thing where I'm just rubbing that gently, picking up all that color. And when I lift this off you can see that it's quite a bit lighter than the original one but now I have two pieces for extra cards. I have die cut the word sending and I'm going to color it with my walnut stain. I couldn't really decide if I wanted to use the walnut stain or the broken china, but I think the walnut stain will be nice and dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap this on and color the entire word. My greeting will end up saying sending thanks. So I've also die cut the word thanks from one of the summer greeting sets of dies. I'm just going to leave that white with a little strip of paper so that you can see through the words. Here's my finished card. You can see how really well those colors blend together. I really love the blue and the brown when those combine. And so for my greeting of thanks, I just added a little strip of paper and put everything together with a few pearls and some enamel dots. I hope I've given you some inspiration on combining your distress inks. And this is the Simon Says Stamp Distress Recipe Number 4. Thanks for watching.